I remember the children's excitement <coughs> bubbling up through their joyful laughter. There were smiles on the parents' faces as their children, one by one, got blindfolded, spun around three times, and handed a stick. Each took a swing, and everyone finally exploded with, with shouts of joy as candy came raining down. Piñatas, which are extremely colorful and are usually filled with delicious sweet treats, are a great addition when celebrating with family and friends. I'm going to talk about the history of piñatas, the uses for piñatas, and how to make them. Piñatas' history actually starts in China, not in Mexico, as many people think. It was in the shape of an ox or cow and used during the New Year. It was filled with seeds and not candy. The seeds were burned and the ashes were kept for good luck. The piñata was brought to Spain and used for the first Sunday of Lent during a fiesta called Dance of the Piñata. It was brought to Mexico during the 16th century. The piñata did not always look like this. Originally, it was an undecorated clay pot, like this. The history and origins of piñatas have affected some of its uses today, and some of them are new. Uh, piñatas are used during the nine-day celebration called Las Posadas in Mexico. It is around Christmas time, and they use this piñata. It has seven points, each standing for one of the seven deadly sins. The pot stands for evil. The candy and fruit inside stands for the temptations of evil, and the person is blindfolded to represent faith. Piñatas are also commonly used for birthdays and other celebrations. Since piñatas are used for so many occasions, I want to explain how they are made. First, you should prepare your workspace by laying, you can just lay down a piece of newspaper. Then you should cut newspaper into several strips. And then you can mix two cups of flour with two cups of water in a bowl and blow up a balloon. Next, you should dip the strips that you cut with newspaper into the paste you made and apply to the balloon. You want to do this in several layers so that your piñata is sturdy. You should not cover the knot of the balloon. Then you let it dry. After it's dry, you can start decorating. You can use paint, you can use tissue paper, you can use ribbon or pretty much anything you want. You can just try to make it original as possible. Then you should uh, cut a hole large enough to be able to put candy into. And then you take out the balloon. Then you use a screwdriver and you cut or you punch two small holes on either side of the larger hole. And you put a string and make a loop through it and then tie it. And that's what you'll hang your pinata from. And then you put any kind of candy you want in it. And then you cover the hole with a piece of tissue paper. And you're done. Through looking at the history of piñatas, the uses for piñatas, and how they are made, you can see how piñatas are great for many occasions when celebrating with family and friends. I know because I've seen the, I heard the shouts of joy from the children and saw the smiles on the parents' faces as candy came running down on them. Very good.